ago. The arts in South Dakota are uh, looking forward to an excellent second hundred years in South Dakota. Those kind of projects do nothing but solidify the direction for the arts in South Dakota. That's great. We couldn't be happier and prouder to share that with you. Meanwhile, talking about being happy and proud, the gentleman next to me here is a longtime friend of mine, George Novak from, from Scotland. Uh, we got together uh, probably about five years ago, I guess right after you retired from the post office. Uh, of all things, to play accordions in Scotland. Can you imagine what, about 150 people playing accordions for another 500 people in Scotland all night long? Well, that's what we did over there in Scotland. We just had a great time. George and Wedge can make it up here with us. Play right? in here. Okay, we'll get right into what happened in Scotland. Already? Um, you guys had a big homecoming event there. Let's start with that. Oh, that was great. Fabulous. Okay. First time ever you had an all-school reunion in, 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 in Scotland? Since the history of our town, right. Okay. How many came back? 1,735 people. That's okay. classmates. And what did they do all weekend? Well, I'll tell you, we were busy all the time. We had two dances, two, di uh, two meals that was given to them, plus a lot of other entertainment, plus a, good, a wonderful worship service that was put together on Sunday. Well, and then in the course of looking at the... Um uh, the inserts here. Uh, each class was featured on a different page of the newspaper. This is the class of 22, and uh, then they could go around and uh, reminisce about the photos right in their right. hands. And uh, so it was a successful event. We raised money at this event, did we? Well, we ended up with $10,900 profits. Rich, that's not too bad, is it? And that went right back into the community. Right, it did. We, st we set up a $3,000 scholarship fund that would be given away this coming year. The first graduating students this year will, will get a the money out of that. So that's a real kind of a lasting legacy project. That is right a lasting there. legacy, right. And it's one, it's a scholarship fund that the, any any of the classmates can add on to it at any time they want to give to the, to the fund, they can do so. Good. Hopefully those Scotland students will stay right here in South Dakota, right? Well, that would be great if they did. Okay, well, we've got a famous South Dakota from Scotland. In fact, we would be remiss if we didn't uh, uh, again pass on to you a little bit of information that uh, Chuck Gmar was there. Right. And uh, he autographed his picture for George. And there he is. In fact, there's George. Uh, another one here. George handing him a plaque from the governor. Tell me about the plaque and the, and the day you presented this to him. Well, the day we presented that was on July the, the second. We gave that to Chuck uh, on behalf of the governor and also on behalf of the people of South Dakota in the centennial year and the centennial deal. Well, that's just terrific. Terrific. We look forward to being invited back over to Scotland for another accordion fest. Rich, it's been great being here. Come to Scotland. We've got a great town. We'll be there. You bet. Thanks, Linda. I think we have a, a little bit of time here so I can tell you what's coming up next. We're going to be going to the Capitol Bowl pretty soon. It's almost time now. Uh, I think about a half an hour away you can hear the orchestra warming up. Um, the Capitol Ball will begin at 8 p.m. Central. There they are warming up. You can see them down in the rotunda getting everything all ready.